What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Natto and for today's video we have another Nike Joyride Run. This is the second colorway to release of the Nike Joyride Run Flyknit and this is the Nike Joyride Run Flyknit Black and White. So obviously this is just your simple plain black and white pair but I wanted to pick this up and get a video up for you guys because I thought this was a really good looking sneaker in a good colorway that I wanted to review for you guys here. So we're gonna answer a couple different things in terms of this sneaker in this video. So we're gonna take a look up close at this sneaker. I'm gonna get them laced up. I'll show you guys what they look like on feet. And I'll give you guys my opinions of this sneaker from on everything between price and durability and just overall opinion of the shoe and give you guys my rating out of 10 and decide if this is a worthwhile pickup for you guys. So without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into the review of the Nike Joyride Run Flyknit Black White. So the Nike Joyride Run is Nike's newest sneaker in terms of technology and just newest sneaker overall. This is their premium running sneaker retailing at a price of $180. And we can see the tag here of the Nike Joyride Run FK for Flyknit in black, black, and white. And obviously this sneaker is just that, black and white. And the key thing with this sneaker here is the different little beads in the bottom of the sneaker. So that's that Joyride technology and what Nike is pushing for this silhouette. And I reviewed the first colorway of this sneaker. I don't believe it has a name at this point. We'll just call it the OG colorway. But it's a very, very comfortable sneaker, so I definitely wanted to pick up this sneaker too. So if we take a look at the shoe itself, you know, we see the giant swoosh wrapping around the back. We see conforming cushioning system in the middle of the inner part of the sneaker. We have a bit of neoprene going along the inner part of the sneaker. We have fly knit all along the upper. This sneaker just has a lot of these, you know, black and white dots at the front giving it a very interesting and cool look. We have the black swoosh on the bottom, you know, all things about this sneaker. So just a simple, clean look for this Nike Joyride Run Flyknit. On the back of the sneaker, as I mentioned, we get the swoosh wrapping around, and you can see on that kind of clear, translucent bottom, we see all those beads peeking through, and we can see it better here when you take a look at the bottom of the sneaker, you know, at the different pressure points of the you know toe box you see the beads and in the heel so you can really feel them when you're walking it's honestly a little bit of a weird feel but it's very comfortable so I, I do like it and finally if we take a peek inside the sneaker actually we can see that there's 3m again on the little lace holes on each sneaker which is always a nice touch for a running sneaker but then on the inside we just have a giant nike swoosh in white on that black insole and then we see nike joyride on the inside of the left we see the pull tab connecting to the inner part and the size tag is actually hidden right about there. So it's a little hard to get some of the numbers, but there's a quick little shot for you. And finally, now that we've taken a look at this sneaker at its entirety, it is the Nike Joyride Run Flyknit in black and white. So it's a pretty good looking sneaker overall. So what we're going to do now is I'll get them laced up and I'll show you guys what they look like on feet. And now there we have it. There was a look at the Nike Joyride Run Black White on feet. So I think this is a very, very good sneaker. Like I had said in my previous review of the original colorway, I think it's extremely comfortable and I love the silhouette. I think it looks really good. And it just seems like a very good running slash, you know, kind of everyday sneaker. The only downside for me is the $180 price point. It is definitely a lot of money. And to me, it seems like Nike is going right at the Ultra Boost, you know, $180 dollars for these, $180 for the Ultra Boost. 
these seem like they're going to be their premier you know running model that's aiming to be a very comfortable sneaker obviously that's what adidas and ultra boost are doing so that's my only downside and you know there's only been a couple of colorways of this so i assume that they're going to make this sneaker without flying it and maybe make it at a lower price point i'd be interested to see that i'm very excited to see other colorways of this sneaker so i think it's pretty good all around and my you know official opinion of this sneaker i, I would give it a 9 out of 10. the only downside really is just the price point of 180 bucks otherwise i think it's a great looking sneaker i think the tech is very cool and i think the design looks good the fit i i think it's comfortable i've seen some mixed reviews but i personally like it i say they fit true to size that's how it works for me and i don't have a problem with them i think it's a good looking sneaker so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think i personally do like this nike joyride run black and white colorway a lot um, like i said i'm excited to see the other colorways so these are you know releasing over the next couple of days uh you know they shouldn't be too hard to get at retail uh, you know i think they're coming out at nike and Foot Locker, uh, a bunch of different spots so it's sort of just up to you guys if you're looking to pick it up I don't believe these are going to have any resale value or be any more limited than that. So it's just a matter of if you're looking to pick these up at that $180 price point. So let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to, you know, continue the conversation there. But that does wrap up the video for today. So, you know, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed, as well as leave a like for this video if you liked this video. And I think that does it. So you guys can also follow me on social media at Steve Natto. Other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next video.